Hi, I'm Peg from Garden Squirrel. This afternoon we're going to have fun planting up a garden container. The garden planter we're going to use this afternoon, we're going to need a good potting mix, which we have here. We're going to add just a handful of these moss marbles. Because this has got is plastic lined, it just needs a little more moisture in the potting mix. Just a small handful mixed in the, in the potting mix will keep it nice and moist. So here are the plants we have that we're going to use in the planter this afternoon. If you click to the right of your screen, you will see the recipe for this. Step one, we're going to just add a potting mix to the container. I have added some mix. I'm just going to put a handful of, of these mar moss marbles, just like this which will keep it nice and moist. Then I shall continue adding the mix up to about two-thirds full. Next I'm going to place the plant material, starting off with a palm in the centre, gently taking it out of its container. Just easing its roots out a little so that when they, it goes in it'll get a good start. The plant really enjoys having that. And then just place it in the centre. Boom it down. Just bring some of your mix around. Place these around the edge so that they give a nice soft line to the top of the container. It's nice just to have the top of the container um, just covered a little bit, just softens the line. Just take off any of these these roots like this that have gone round and round in a ball. Just dig a little hole. Firm it down and continue on around the perimeter of the basket. I've planted the plants around the perimeter of the basket. I'm just going to put in some a couple to give a little bit of height at the back. Just don't forget, you can get these recipes from the Garden Squirrel. <coughs> Last of all, just to finish up my planting, I'm just going to put these little perennials in amongst them, just to give a bit more depth and a bit more colour. Now we've finished with this planter, take the, it to a position where you're going to have it growing in your home, and then water it, because it's fairly heavy to move. But don't forget to give it a good water when you have got it in position. Hmm? Now you have seen how quickly and easily I've put this container together. I hope you've had as much fun as I have had this afternoon.